All right, as you can see, I've grabbed a camera and I'm actually standing in front of our makeshift budget network rack, whatever you wanna call it. And I've made a few more changes and I wanna show you about them and how they pertain to the upcoming videos or two. All right, so you can see that on the left-hand side or right-hand side rather, the budget server rack that I showed you before with the two laptops and the computer that I call the cube. We've talked a lot about that and you can check out some of the other videos. Now here on the left, you can see we've added another shelf. You see a 3D printer and a radio and a router and a network card. Well, I've been doing some playing around with some USB pass-through and the goal is, is both to be able to pass through that network card to a container and maybe even a VM, I'm not sure, or a VM or a container. They can't be running at the same time, of course. But um, in that 3D printer to a container, which may end up being a VM as well, just because I'm struggling a lot with getting USB pass-through working. I'd like to get it working because, well, I think everybody would like to know how to do it. The router is an upcoming project. When I find the power supply, it's still missing from our move. And I plan to be mounting that in a more central location for the house for some more um, security, different segregations of network. We've talked about that in our PF Sense video and a few of other videos. Uh, so that's an upcoming project that I'll show you about. But here for this 3D printer, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you where I'm at, show you the success I've made and where I'm actually having problems. Okay, so you can see from the mess on my screen that I've been working on USB pass-through. But let's take a step back to some of the other stuff I've done. So I found a tutorial here on how to install OctiPrint on a non-OctiPi installation for a Raspberry Pi. And I dissected most of this and actually was able to get it up and running in a container. So here we have a container and you can see the IP address for the container. And here is the actual working installation of OctiPrint. Of course, we're getting a problem here with no serial port found. And that's been the larger part of my problems for the last day, day and a half, getting this video ready. So today I just wanted to talk to you about where we were at on this project, kind of give you an update and talk about it. See if you had any feedback so we could learn together about Proxmox even more and finally maybe figure out how to pass through USB to a Proxmox container. I know I'd like to know how to do it, and I know from talking to some of you that you guys have all struggled with it as well. So I plan to keep pounding my head against the wall or forms as I continue to read through things and guides and other information to try to figure this out. So I'm sure you guys have all found this guide before, and read through it and tried it. Maybe not all of you, but most of the people that looked into it. And I know I went through the guide and I just feel like I might be missing some permissions or something because it doesn't work. We actually, down here I can show you, I followed the guide and put the configuration in that the guide suggests with the correct modifications to for my system so this is the usb for the printer and i can actually jump back here now i showed you this run an run an ls usb oh i turned off the printer uh let's turn that back on so you can see it and right here you can see the printer has come up so I know that the configuration should be good, although I did see it came up with three instead of two, and I entered two last time, but I think that might just be a USB thing. I um, don't know if I got enough screenshots or not. Oh, well, 
Sorry about that. But anyways, um, yeah. So this is where I'm at. And I also found this forum post, which I've been reading through, which is what's leading me to believe that I may have a permissions configuration error or some type of rules issue or something like that. I've um, been trying to dive into this, but time constraints are leading me to create this video this way today. And you can see this, this looks like permissions right here. So that's where I'm at. And we go on to talk more about permissions going through the rest of this forum post. Then I also found this, which looks like, and here's the line where we entered the this to get this printout, and that does look correct. Um, and we go through, and he talks about, again, more permissions here. And I need to decipher this, read through it, and try to follow it in a couple of test environments to see what happens. So that's where we're at today. I hope you guys have some feedback and some information so we can learn together um, or you have help or a guide that worked for you. I'm not entirely sure what's going on at the moment. I'll figure it out or try to figure it out and bring you a video with Octoprint in or running on a Proxbox server. If you like videos like this, please drop a comment below. Like, I'm going to take silence as meaning that you like them. But if people just find them a waste of time or are annoying and just want tutorials from Virtualize Everything, that's fine too. But let me know. I like communicating more with you guys. And I have some more time now in my life to communicate more with you guys and show you what I would like to call the behind the scenes of some projects when we struggle. Not all projects are flowers and roses and work the first time. I try to bring you the highest quality tutorials that have been tested a few times to make sure they work for you. But of course my setup may be different than yours and there may always be problems. But my goal is to bring you setups that work and work every time for you. As always, thanks for watching and have a good night.